Deborah Mercer Irwin didn't want to talk as the first day of her trial ended in a federal court in Sherman. A G2 jet packed with 70 bales of cocaine. The Oklahoma City business owner is accused of putting planes into the hands of narco traffickers through her company, Aircraft Guarantee Corp. Mercer Irwin's also accused of running a massive Ponzi scheme with this man, international fugitive Federico Machado. Prosecutors allege she pocketed $4.9 million and Machado took $75 million. The alleged scheme involved getting investors to fund the purchase of planes that either didn't exist or weren't for sale. Her attorney, Joe White. Anything you want to say? I mean, I feel like otherwise it's just what the prosecutors have to say. Well, y'all heard, heard the testimony today. Right. We'll just keep working. Get to the truth. He told jurors Mercer Irwin followed the legal advice of her attorneys at the time. He also said Machado deceived her. Tonight we're going to take you to Onalaska, Texas. Mercer Irwin's criminal charges stem from a 2019 WFA investigation. WFA discovered the company's aircraft were repeatedly found outside of the United States loaded with drugs. In court, prosecutors told jurors the case was all about greed, lies, and looking the other way. Mercer Irwin's daughter, Kaylee Moffat, on Monday, pled guilty to a wire fraud count and to not properly reporting that planes had been taken out of the country. Kaylee took five years probation. Anything you want to say about her decision to take a plea? attorney would not speak as he left the courthouse. Well, Tanya, you have been covering this story since 2019 and your investigation came up in court today. It sure did this afternoon while the lead agent was on the stand. Uh, the defense attorney asked the agent about it and asked what role our investigation played in the, and the lead agent acknowledged that our investigation played a big role in the, in the starting of this investigation. At one point, the defense attorney actually turned around and pointed at me, which I don't, I can't recall that actually happening in open court in front of a jury previously. So definitely a bit of an odd situation and we will be back in court tomorrow.